Welcome to your daily astrology horoscope. This is the Peace Dealer. And you know what? This video is for 20 degrees. That's my solar return, guys. Um, my birthday is on the 11th. Um, yeah, if you guys have any gifts you want to send me or anything, you can hit up my P.O. box, which is in the description box below. And for those of you, um, once again, who are like overseas and, and are probably watching this video now that the day is over, don't worry. The video for tomorrow is going to come out noon. I mean, midnight tonight. So I'm going to make sure that you get the next day on time and i mean like the 11th so um to 10th and 11th are linked and today and tomorrow are very special in fact not just today and tomorrow today tomorrow the 12th and the 13th because this is when we close out this lunar cycle um 20 degrees is now in the officially the third decade my friends and this third decade in gemini is subruled by uranus which is revolution where in the event horizon of the North Node. So it's about to get karmic. It's about to get destined. Everything you think, everything you say, everyone you're around, it's not for no reason. And just really keep that in mind. Over the next nine days, we have potential to step into the greatest unconventional, unpredictable change that will really happen at a moment's notice. So at this 20 degree, I feel passionate sway degree, you really want to examine what this manifested version of truth feels like to you and how that really adds to your confidence and self-esteem. You also don't want to take seriously any like insults or because you're going to have people throwing shade and whatnot. But to, a day like today is going to remind you that people throwing shade at the truth you express reveals their character. and like instantly reveals you know how dumb they are but other than that um not to really make this about that today is very important because we're wrapping up and completing an understanding of knowledge of the truth that is going to have every single person around the world break through scientifically like scientific breakthroughs are imminent today in the world collectively and individually through you and this is so very important because tomorrow we're going to step into a rabbit hole that will change your entire life bitch i be smoking as many flats bitch i be smoking as many as many yeah fight boss you can tell them that that's right yeah fight boss you can tell them that all right so the moon is going to be transiting about the middle of Aquarius to the end of Aquarius. And this is how you want to see this. We're stepping into the third quarter square tomorrow. The third quarter square is the opposite of the first quarter square. So we have the new moon in Gemini, okay? And that uh, initialized a, a new truth. And then we had the first quarter square in Virgo, which was like, okay, here are the facts and details relevant to this new cycle that you need to change your perception so that it's aligned with facts. Then we had the full moon, which allowed you to see what's actually aligned with truth. And now we have this third quarter square that's going to introduce unseen phenomena and ways to think outside the box that will change your mind because this it's, it's basically incorporating new information that you're going to use to get the complete understanding of the situation that's the final square that will align this truth you have and complete your focus once this is completed and your perception is completed this is the perception you take to cancer season so you're cardinally acting off that right perception and like listen i'm gonna say this one more time don't mind the naysayers there's a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about there's a lot of people who are just going to express towards you their insecurities because they're weak people and you're strong and and like they hate that like they're intimidated by that so they make it your problem it's not your problem a day like today is going to have you sit in the strength like wow i didn't know i had this effect on people i didn't know i was so strong i didn't know I was powerful so don't let any of that get to you 
because if they really had a problem, they can come in your face, but they're cowards and they never will do that. So this is very, very, very important because the moon that's coming to Aquarius is going to give you the final knowledge of this truth. And let me tell you why it's important. The dark force you're dealing with are a bunch of bitches. They're a bunch of weak, evil people that instead of acknowledging the truth, they will change everything around the truth so that if you say you walked into a building and you saw um, a dog that was, that, that was drawn on a wall and messed up the wall, these people will go in that building and change everything about the building so that it's no longer a wall there, okay? This is next level deception. Instead of attacking the truth, they're going to change everything around it and the illusion so that, you know, it won't really look like this. So this is why this is important. Here's a practical exercise. So I'm not just saying, you know, that this is gonna happen. Today, you must write down at least 10 things that you know to be true. Everything since the new moon in Gemini that has come out, what are 10 things that undeniably are facts that cannot be debated? Because when the moon goes into Pisces tomorrow, you're, here's an example. Let's say that all the facts were presented in a certain YouTube video, all the facts. And then this video magically got deleted. And so then when these people address this video, they completely lie about the facts made. And because you don't have the video for reference, you may not realize that, you know, they're debunking, you know, facts that weren't made, red herrings. Okay, let's say that in the, in the video, the facts were, okay, um, this person wore a pink shirt and then this person walked through a Burger King. They're going to delete the video so you don't remember. And then they're going to say, okay, well, we were wearing yellow cardigans and I was a vegan that day and you almost get you know deceived from the fact that we weren't even talking about veganism we were talking about something totally different so this is why if you write the facts down now when you get that we're going through moon on Neptune that's a men in black flash pen know that once we go into the moon in Pisces it's a washing machine your whole life is gonna change and Neptune is very strong it's very magical you may not remember things the same way you knew them so write down the facts now so that when the moon goes into Aries and you have that men in black flash pen moment and you go into Aries you have that list so you could take it out and remember everything and with that being said okay this is going to keep you back up to speed and not have you fall for deception. That third quarter square has the potential to be very, very ugly just because of the deceptive potential. But if you know the truth, okay, this will provide enough strength for you to move forward. And that's really the best advice I could give you, my friends. Write down everything you know to be true now so that when they, when they try and lie and change it later, you got your receipts. Okay, because there's new information that Neptune will literally make up out of nowhere. And, you know, you either fall for that bullshit or you remember what you've known to be true that can't be refuted. So that's really all I can say for now. The breakthroughs that you have today will be inevitable. And it's going to prepare you for tomorrow where you transcend the limits of your supernatural abilities. Bitch, I be smoking. Hey, man, you know. Yeah, bitch, I've been smoking a minute show. Fight boss, you can tell I'm with it. Fight boss, you can tell I'm with it. Oh, yeah. Today's daily word is as follows Today I break through into new truth. Today I break through into new truth. Today I break through into new truth cool thing about today is that all the forces and, and, and energies that have ever had an issue with you that you felt energetically receptively, you're going to realize how much sovereignty and power you have over it. You're going to realize how it only exists with you as a base. And this is going to really be the turning point of instead of it having an antagonizing effect on you, you now having an antagonizing effect on them. Some of you will feel weird when the same forces that have plagued you are now terrified of you and running from you. It's time for your reign of terror to begin on these dark forces. And until tomorrow, peace.